A new innovative procedure is revolutionizing aesthetics. Yes, I can't talk. For the fit female, it is quickly becoming the latest trend for females in the world of fitness. With us today to tell us more about how females can enhance their femininity, all the while without sacrificing their competitive edge, is Dr. Alan Durkin. Dr. Durkin, thank you for joining us this morning. How are you? I'm well, sir. Thank you for having me. Well, thank you for joining us. So why is it often so difficult for the fit female to maintain femininity? Yeah, so for me, I think that's a, that's a problem with society, not a problem with the fit female. Strong is the new sexy. It's been like that for a mm -hmm. long time. And there's a lot of forces that, that push towards that. CrossFit, you see it on social media. And, <laughs> and, and you, if a, if a woman is going to invest that kind of investment into herself, for me, that's an ultimate expression of self-care. I think it's a an elevated form almost of femininity myself. So we're happy to uh, to support that. I have to agree with you because I go in the gym early in the morning and I see the females that work out and seeing them and how fit they look is like an inspiration for me to keep coming back to the gym. So I agree with you on that. Now me tell too. our viewers, yeah. Now tell our viewers about the eternal sports brawl procedure. Yeah, so we developed that specific for the athlete, but it's really been co-opted to really most of the market. People don't realize, but your pec major muscle is actually a triangle. So your implant, if you get a breast implant, it ages this way. So what we developed for the, for the athlete is the athlete has a really, really developed muscle here, and they have a very developed fascia underneath. And in, in the non-athlete, it's very, very uh, thin. It's usually not be able to use. But in an athlete, what we developed was a dissection technique where we couple that subpectoral -fas sub fascia and then tuck it underneath the implant so it's kind of nestled in and has extra support. Then we take a mesh and we put it above that fascia and really create support. The goal is support, support, support. If you're gonna put a lot of pressure on an implant through athletic uh, exercise, you have to be prepared to keep that L implant where you want it. And th that was really the impetus for developing the procedure. Now, how is this different from a traditional breast augmentation procedure? So with this, we're using the subfascial, uh, a subpectoral fascia and a mesh to support your implant position. In a traditional breast augmentation, that's not usually necessary. However, in that scenario, over 20 years, it will age this way. So what's happened over the last four or five years is that technique has really been used by the non-athlete. They don't get a better result, but they maintain their result for almost 20 to 30 years. Their implants don't move. So it, it's actually taken off in the athlete and non-athlete world, both, you know, simultaneously. It's kind of, we didn't expect that, but it really worked out that way. So do you have to be an athlete to get this procedure or can this be a benefit to most females? Yeah, it's a benefit to anybody who wants to maintain their results. Like that, that's what I was saying before. We really didn't see it that way. We developed it specifically for athletes, but for, you know, just the, you know, the weekend warrior or somebody who's just taking care of themselves or somebody who just wants to maintain their aesthetic, it, it works. It works. Uh, and in that scenario, we're lying, we're lying more on the mesh than the fascia, but, but in the, the result is the exact same. So it's actually utilizable by really anybody who wants to maintain the result long-term. Now, doctor, where can our viewers go for more information? Uh, www.oceandriveplasticsurgery is our website, and we're located on the Treasure Coast of Florida in paradise. Cool. cool. All right. Now, what do you have for men? What do you got for me, man? Anything for me? <laughs> what are you talking about? I can't fix perfect. I, <laughs> I, I, I'm good, but I can't fix perfect. So no, nah, I, I, I'll have to think about that one. I like that response. <laughs> Dr. Alan Durkin, thank you for joining us on Morning Blend. I uh, appreciate you. Thank you, sir. You too.